Welcome to Understand. Have you ever stared at a bright monitor for hours on end and gotten a headache? Well, here at SciTools, we get that. That's why we offer dark mode compatibility and a highly customizable interface with Understand. In this video, we'll go over how to switch between light and dark mode and how to customize your editor from thousands of style combinations or simply select a predefined theme to turn Understand into the perfect IDE for you. The default interface, and the one that you're probably used to with Understand, is the light mode interface. To swap into dark mode, simply close Understand, navigate to your computer settings. On a Mac, this will be under Settings, General, and if you're on a Windows 10 machine, this will be in Settings, Personalization, Colors. Change your operating system to dark mode, and then reopen Understand. Try it out for yourself and explore the dark mode interface. It's personally my preferred way to use Understand. Now, let's go over styles. If you navigate to Understand Preferences on a Mac, or this will be under Tools Options if you're on a Windows computer, the Understand Options interface will be opened. From here, let's expand the Editor Options and select Styles. Styles are a really great way to customize Understand as a development environment and quickly get a visual preview of what your syntax will look like in the editor. Here at the top there's a drop down where we've created some predefined themes for you. As you can see we're currently in the dark mode template because we opened understand in dark mode. Now if you want to customize elements yourself you can of course do that right here. The far left column in this interface lists the interface element or syntactical token whether that's an error message or a line number etc. And the columns to the right allow you to customize that element. The elements are categorized by language with a global category here at the top. So if we scroll down, we can see that they're also arranged by language. For instance, if we expand the C++ styles here, we can see additional style options for class names, namespace names, etc. Here in styles, you can change the foreground color, the background color, make the element bold, italicized, or underlined, and toggle whether these options run to the end of the line or just to the end of the element. As you alter your styles, the elements column will be dynamically updated to reflect how your code will look in the editor. For instance, we see here that inactive code defaultly has a white foreground or text and a black background. Because the end of line checkbox is also enabled here on the right, this inactive code style will run to the end of any line that there's an inactive code on. Let's say we want to italicize inactive code as well. I can toggle that option right here and see that it's dynamically updated in the options interface so effectively, I'm previewing what it will look like in my editor. Let's go over another example. Maybe I don't like how the C++ class names look. So I'm going to go down to C++. OK, we found class names. Now I'm going to change the color to more of a orange, maybe. Press OK. Go back up. You see it's dynamically updated. And then I'm going to remove the underline and make the text bold. Now I'll press OK, and we'll open a project. And let's find a class name. So I'll double click a class name in the entity filter, and you can see that class names have been updated now. If you ever want to revert your changes back to Understand's default settings, there's a convenient button in the options interface that allows you to do just that. So I'll open the options interface again, expand editor, styles, and you can restore your defaults at any time. So, whether you're trying to reduce eye strain, save battery, or you just love the look of a particular style, there's no reason not to customize Understand today. In this video, we learned how to swap between light and dark modes and personalize the interface to make Understand your own. For more information on Understand, visit support.sidetools.com.